Oh my gosh. Dude, he's gonna have to get him out of there. My dad is. And your garden? Yeah. Those are banana trees? Everything for me. Oh man, they're beautiful. <laughs> wow, you don't come in here. He don't come in yet, Papa. When you come, he come in maybe five o'clock, four thirty, four o'clock, five o'clock. Only, only two forty. He don't come in yet. Wait, what are they looking he for? He don't come in yet. He come in five o'clock. For food? The the iguana. Now you want it everywhere for food. He come to this tree maybe for five, five o'clock, four thirty, five o'clock. He come and sleep. He don't come in yet, Baba. Well, we're gonna look and see if we see any. No, he got a lot. He don't come in yet. He go into this area. He come in maybe four o'clock, four thirty, five o'clock. He come in for food. He don't come in yet, Baba. All right, we're gonna look. You see one? No, not yet, Baba. Maybe for 35 o'clock, a lot coming. Yeah, we're up here. Yeah. You want to climb the tree? Come on, don't come in here. You come in maybe five, oh, for 35 o'clock. So what you're saying, they're over here eating all your bananas. Who? The iguana. I got the next plot, Papa. You can't eat banana, Papa. He plant yam, kalalu, everything I got in the front. He come in to eat. He can't eat banana. <laughs> oh, okay. He eat next plant. Got you, got you, got you. Where are you from? Trinidad. Trinidad, okay. Where are you from? Haiti. Okay. Got you, got you. Curaçao, Bonnet, Aouba. <laughs> We're going to patrol this area, man, and find, see if we can get those iguanas so they stop eating your yams. Papa, I tell you, it's out. You don't come in here. Same thing, you got a lot of yams. his buddy right here and he just didn't learn his lesson I don't know if he thought we were doing him a favor but we came to collect bounty on both pass oh my god there's another big one over there another big one. see him by the by the pool see him Rolling it out, buddy. Got him. Coasting. Yeah, we're coasting. The silly iguana. Grab the string now. Grab the string. Just for the string. There you go. Yeah, slip him right up. Grab it. Grab it with your hand. In the back. There you go. There you go. Are you going to go in and have someone help you, or are you going to wait till I'm back on Tuesday? He looks small, though, but. It's a female. Red female. You know what that means? Breeding season is among us, my friends. When the females start turning red, they're getting ready to breed. Yeah. 
It's all squirrely looking. The silly corner. Yank it up. Oh, there he is. Another one in the bag. You're not gonna be messing with that farm no more, buddy. Eating all those yams, mangoes, and bananas. <laughs> I got him. I got that little squirrel. Oh, we just tail with the captain. Here you go, sir. I got him. I got him. Surfside. Surfside. That shit looks good. Oh my god. Look at this. Dude, look where it's built at, right next to where all the iguanas are at. That's sketchy. Wow. Look at that giant right there. Where? Incredible guys, the alphaness of some of these iguanas. He's on boat with us. He's not even he doesn't even care. He literally climbed up here by himself. That's pretty wild, huh? That's how alpha he is though, how dominant he is. He's not afraid. we look the more iguanas we're seeing why are there so many iguanas out here guys Wow, look how they're just perched up over there. Hey, bro, I was trying to tell you to come up on the front, bud. You wanna go get him? Yeah, go in front of him, Brandon. Cut him off. Oh, 
Oh my gosh. Dude, he's gonna have to get him out of there. Why don't you put it past him and then swing it? Dude, put it past him and then put yeah, just like that. Let me get him, bro. We got another runner He's trying to run through the water. Unfortunately for him, he's not gonna make it. Oh shoot! Grab back legs. Secure the iguana in the back. Seven. 37 total? The Kool-Aid, the Kool-Aid. Check that out, guys. What was it 37 iguanas? 37. 37 iguanas, y'all. In the bag. That's just wild, man. Whole tailgate full. Like I said, these iguanas are out here. They're causing some havoc. So we had to go out and do our patrol. But not to worry. All this fresh iguana meat is not going to waste. They actually caught these things, the chicken of the trees. And we're going to go ahead and be cooking a bunch of them up. Special thanks to Captain Tony for bringing us out, y'all. Tony, if somebody wants to come and book a tour with you, man, what's the best way for somebody to contact you? Go to iguana-iguana.com. There we have it right there, guys.